Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 3 augustus 2016. Dat is het bulletin van woensdag. Vandaag is er Mosse en een SSTV plaatje in PD50. Het Nederlandstalige nieuwsgedeelte is vandaag relatief kort omdat ik een lang stuk van het item over balloons wil laten horen zonder dat de uitzending daardoor al te lang wordt. Agentschap Telecom heeft in een aanvulling op het eerdere bericht aangegeven dat het waarschijnlijk niet lukt om alle aangetekende brieven met een eventuele intrekking van de roepnaam te versturen. Het kan dus zijn dat deze pas volgende week verstuurd wordt. Twee piepjonge amateurs, de zusters Rebecca en Kimberly Yuen, hebben hun tweede high altitude ballon met APRS zender gelanceerd. Vorig jaar lukte het de zussen van toen 10 en 8 jaar oud ook al om een ballon tot ruim 30 kilometer hoog te laten gaan. En onlangs deden ze dat dus opnieuw. Vanwege de lancering vorig jaar werden de in wetenschap geïnteresseerde zusjes ook al op het Witte Huis uitgenodigd. Deze laatste ballon had een met Lego stenen gebouwde R2-D2 uit Star Wars aan boord. Tezamen met een foto van de kat van de zusjes, Loki, al dus Southgate ARC.org. De website hobbyscope.nl besteedt vandaag aandacht aan de kritiek die veel mensen hebben dat inmelders op de repeater vaak niet aan de beurt komen. Laat jij wel eens een lange break? Het is inderdaad waar dat ik zelf de laatste tijd ook vaak die geluiden gehoord heb. Vaak achteraf. Ik ga zelf nog eens proberen wat extra mijn best te doen, want dat is natuurlijk niet de bedoeling. Wat in het artikel niet genoemd wordt is natuurlijk de groep die extra tijd nodig heeft om zich in te melden. Dat zijn namelijk... De Echelink gebruikers. De current off the outside of the shield kind of thing. But they're simple and easy to make. Well, you know, you probably don't remember this, but uh, just a second ago, by the way, when you were talking about coiling up coax to, to make a common mode choke, a few years ago, I was playing with a 10 meter dipole that was made from two telescopic whips, whip antennas. And I was running into an unusual situation where when I had my antenna analyzer and I was standing just beneath the dipole and I was measuring the SWR, It looked great. It was 1.2 to 1. Connected up the coax back to my radio. When I got back there, the SWR was almost 3 to 1. And it drove me nuts trying to figure out what in the world was going on. And you recommended that I make a common mode choke by taking the coax near the dipole, near the, excuse me, near the center fed uh, feed point of the dipole, and coiling it. I believe you recommended six turns with a diameter of... Six to eight inches, if I remember, something like that. And this this happened to be RG58 uh, coax, so it worked well. And I did that. I coiled it up, and by golly, that worked. Suddenly, I had the same SWR at the dipole that I was seeing back at the radio. That's a very common experience, and it, it's one of the issues with having current on the outside of the shield. It tends to interfere with making accurate standing wave ratio measurements and a lot of people go crazy with that and it also you can sometimes tell if you have that kind of a problem if you look at the standing wave ratio that you're reading and you run your hand along the coax mm -hmm. if um, if it changes the SWR that means something's happening on the outside of the coax and that means the coax is not working the way you think it is something <laughs> else is going on here because if the coax is working properly it should know nothing That's about right. what's going on outside it. That's right. As Colonel Klink would say. So, so what is the answer, Joel? You know, when somebody asks, do I need a ballot? The answer is, as usually the case, it depends. It depends, of but course. It, but the other side of it is, having a ballon or a common mode choke will never hurt, and it will almost always help. And if you have a multi-band antenna, I guarantee you, you need, you will need a choking mechanism on some bands, if not all mm -hmm. bands. And oh, by the way... You know, it may work, fi work fine now, but then I say, oh, I'm going to move my uh, entrance point over here to this other window. Well, you change the length of the transmission line, and it no longer works the same way. And, and that's one of the nice things about having the coax cable working as coax cable. If, it's, if it is <laughs> working properly, it's not particularly sensitive to length. No. And I've, I've seen people talk about, uh, oh, well, you always have to have a half wavelength of coax. Or something. Oh, I've heard that too. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's really um, not true. It may be because of having a high common mode current that that length of coax happens to work for you in, in some strange way that has nothing to do with the coaxial mode mm -hmm. that, that you're trying to achieve. So if you get the currents inside the coax and it's a 50 ohm system, then adding more coax or taking more coax off will only change the attenuation due to the length. It will not change anything else. The system will still operate the same way. It will still be matched just as well as it was, mm -hmm. other than a slight change in the attenuation. Okay, very good.
And hey. by the way, I, for yeah. people that, that uh, want to read about this and, and there's actual pictures, which it makes it a little easier, I wrote an article uh, which says, uh, the title, For Best Results, Consider a Balan in Your Antenna System. It was in the January 2013 QST, and it's available on the, uh, the digital web archive on our website. So you may want to look at that, and it uh, basically covers just what I just talked about, but you actually can see pictures. So if you think, if you um, understand things better when you see them, this will help you uh, get the concept. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Jazeker, ik laat geregeld een lange break, lange break, lange break.